10 and 5. See what we can practice today. I'm going to bring the knight out. Now they're sacrificing on the weak pawn. It's like they're coming for the fry. Oh, I, every I don't know why it is. You know, I keep leaving that pawn there in this opening when they bring out the bishop. It's specifically when they bring the bishop out, I then just forget about this pawn. And do you know why it is? It's because I'm thinking, right, they're going to come with the fried liver. So I have to move the bishop out of the way. Oh, damn. I mean, some would probably class it as a poison pawn, depending on your playing style. But yeah, I keep forgetting that. All because I'm thinking they're coming for the fried. And they are coming for it now. So I've just got to play it slowly. So anyhow that happens in the over the board game, I'll be kicking myself because I know that that is something I, I want to be stopping doing. It's not actually gone for the fried yet. It still has the opportunity. Let's attack the bishop, see if they still want to go for it or not. Not. This player plays odd. Don't know if I'm a fan. I don't know if I am a fan or not. Until the dust settles on the situation. Plus one. I think they thought they were getting this pawn. Queen comes down to support the pawn attack. Bishop takes. I know the knight's on the rim, I'm ready to bring it back. I know we've got space around our king, which the queen is going to try and take advantage of because of this diagonal here. And just hit the queen. Blocking. Bishop's not protected at the minute, so the queen's probably coming to defend the bishop. And then, bang. Or it goes all the way back to defend the bishop. Forgot that one. So it does make me laugh when I've done... Over the experiences that we've had recently in, in the build-up to the tournament, um, quite a lot of the games that I've played um, where I've got an advantage in the game, it's because I've actually made a mistake in the game. I just find it a little bit weird. Attacking our queen. So they're built, making something of something. We're still plus one. Our king is so airy. They're taking the time. They're just aggressive, attacking, attacking, attacking. I'm trying to stealthily work my way towards attacking their king, but my pieces at the, min at the minute are a little bit strangulated because they're very aggressive. He's really looking for our knight with his queen. Do you know his queen can come here with a check if I move my rook up there? Let's 
moving the knight off there. We can go here, but the rook's going to be attacking our queen. Okay, let's go here. Let's go for a cheap attack on the queen. Still not wanting to exchange. Big question is where can the queen go? All these squares are covered. So miraculous. Oh, come on. Give me a break. I was just about to say miraculously we trapped their queen, but now we have to give him space. Oh, that is, that's not right, is it? So we take, then they take. That's not right. I do have his pawn there, but. Hmm. Oh, that looks so simple. I was going to celebrate. Can I not do anything? I can't take. And then he take. No. Nothing. Take a rook. Take his rook. His queen escapes. No. Does it? Take the rook. And does the queen escape? It's still trapped, isn't it? Because the queen is still on that line. So it can't go here. It still can't go here, it still can't go there, it still can't go across there. I think we can take the rook. Is that being too fancy? I just didn't want to give the queen up for a, that damn pawn. So it looks like we've got... I'm not going to celebrate now, just... Wait, yes. So up the exchange type thing with more material on the board. <laughs> okay, don't celebrate because this guy looks a bit stealthy. That's really good. Still got this pawn. I think we can afford to trade down, can't we? Could attack the rook. Can't go here. Attack the rook again. Need to get rid of this bishop.
bring the knight through, but he just has a dark square bishop, which is going to do that. Basically skewering both the knight and the rook. So I don't think we want to be playing them apples, do we? What do we have? Just bring the bishop back again. Because it's going to get messed up. Here to here, no. So I'm in the predicament of having more pieces, so I've got more things to think about. Let's get them working together if we can somehow. I'm gonna have to start owning this file. I'm just really wanting to be on here, but we're gonna have to start this way. On the white squares. Let's hit the rook. They have the same idea. Right, so they'll be looking to try and get these these pawns here. Dun, dun, dun. As you know, I'm just wanting to fly up there with the rook. Maybe we'll just do small potato moves. Just maybe supporting the pawn even. Bring the bishop here. Attacks. No, I'm just going to support the pawn. Just try and block off anything he's going to try and do. I mean, this is probably next. Tend to find that when I'm blocking off what the opponent's attempting to do, it starts to kind of improve the position on the board. I've got his pawn. No, I haven't, because he just comes across here. To defend. Let's hang fire on that. I'm surprised it's not come down. Okay. Let's bring the rug up now. Pawn move. To go there, the rook's coming across. We might as well go and attack the pawn now. Yep. Take the pawn with the knight or with the rook with the rook. Seems okay. It's going to come and attack the knight. Okay. Yep. Knight, knight can just come here, like we said, just. And the bishop then goes, Oh, I'm going to hit you as well, so I get a pawn type thing. Pawn is down, x-ray through to the rook. Rook is looking to get the bishop and put a bit of pressure on our king. Don't really like them apples. So we can take the pawn. And we're on the rook. Bishop probably blocks maybe. I can just move the king here to defend the bishop. This is looking to push the pawn on. And they have done. So let's just move the king across. As you can see, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just trying to build it up slowly a bit at a time. Blocking off what he's attempting to do. Repositioning. 
And we can put a 2 on 1 now on the bishop. It is a dart square, but I suppose he can just take the knight off the board. We take his rook. Ooh, yeah. Bit clever that, you know. So we go here. Then he takes the knight. And his rook is on our rook. So we take his rook. And his bishop takes our rook. But our rook would then be safe. Something like that. Is that right? So we're not going to do that. We're going to move the knight. He's savouring the moments. It's just unlucky that the bishop is guarding there. We can take. Well, not take. Attack the rook. Because the rook has no place in the centre of the board. Only place that things that can take it is the bishop. Or it can just save itself by moving down. I'm going to attack the rook. Just capture. He is on our rook. But we can take his rook first. And then take the bishop. Just uh, move the bishop slightly. Bring the rook here. Can take the pawn because it's defending the bishop. Excellent. 